its nectar. Oh, oh, it's nectar. Hello everyone, welcome to NutritionNewsAndReviews.com. I'm Steve DuPont and today I am going to be reviewing this product. Back to Nature Poppy Time Crackers. Poppy Time. Uh, that's T-H-Y-M-E, not T-I-M-E. Uh, the, uh, the herb. Uh, these uh, crackers uh, boast of uh, no hydrogenated oils, no artificial preservatives, flavors, or colors, uh, and zero grams trans fat. And looking at the, uh, the ingredients list and the nutrition facts panel, I can confirm for you that that is indeed the case. Uh, the, uh, your ingredients are basically the, uh, the whole grains, uh, uh, wheat flour, you've got some oat flour in there, uh, you've got your uh, fortified with B vitamins, uh, you have olive oil, you have uh, safflower oil, uh, and uh, then you have a little bit of uh, sugar in the form of uh, evaporated cane juice and brown rice syrup. Uh, and some uh, sea salt as well as the, uh, the herbs, uh, thyme as well as uh, onion powder, garlic powder, and uh, let's see, parsley and black pepper. Okay, so a good medley of, uh, of flavors in there. Uh, should, we'll see if that comes through. 8% uh, of your daily iron, that's a good figure as well. Uh, and otherwise, really, uh, the typical profile that you would kind of expect from a cracker, right? I mean, it's high in carbohydrates, it's, uh, it's fairly low in fat. You know, some crackers are going to be a little fattier than others, but uh, these uh, four grams per serving, not really all that bad, and just a marginal amount of protein. So, uh, with that said, uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and rate this uh, on a scale of five here, five being the best. Uh, you know, and as far as a cracker goes, these are very, these, uh, I must say, are very, very good. The, the main thing that I look for in a cracker is, is the no hydrogenated oils. Because uh, the, the hydrogenated oils uh, get you uh, into trouble uh, in terms of uh, inflammation uh, and other things. So, I'm going to go ahead and give that four bells out of five for uh, nutrition status. And let's go ahead and give one of these a taste here. They are hexagonal in, uh, in shape, uh, and you can see the poppy seeds uh, there. Uh, can't say that I see any time. Um, right, I mean, I, it's, a wheat, it's a wheat cracker, and the wheat is really the predominant flavor. Uh, they are fairly salty. I didn't mention that, but 290 milligrams per serving is... Now, most crackers are going to, are going to be high in sodium, but uh, I think these could actually be a little less salty and get away with it. I'm, at least me, I'm usually going to put cheese uh, on the cracker, which is high in salt, or uh, maybe like chicken salad or something like that which would also have salt in it. You know, I can't really... Uh, there, I do see some... That might be some time right there. You see that? You know, I'm not... I, if I was doing this in a blind taste test, I'm quite certain that I would not say time. Uh, I might say poppy seed. Excuse me. Uh, so, you know, it's not a bad uh, tasting cracker, uh, but... Uh, uh, with a name like Poppy Time, I, I uh, maybe had slightly higher expectations. Uh, so, I'm just going to give it uh, two bells uh, for uh, taste. Uh, maybe being a little harsh there, but, uh, you know, it, I did give it four for nutrition. So, really, I mean, it's, it boils down to if you just want a good cracker uh, nutritionally to uh, have something on it. I, I, I wouldn't just snack on these uh, in the raw, let's put it that way. So, uh, I might have a couple of more of these with, uh, with something on it. Uh, 
uh, for lunch, uh, and you have yourself a good day.